everyone. Today's February the 1st, and this is the Moneyball Morning Report for the Benzinga Pro platform. We just had jobless claims come in um, just a little bit above estimates. You know, that remember, bad news is going to be good news because markets are trying to force the Fed to cut rates. But as it continues to rise, um, as the market continues to rise, Fed Powell just put the kibosh on that uh, yesterday. But they still think as jobless claims rise, um, they're going to be forced to move. So that's what's going on in the backdrop. Let's hop over to the charts and see specifically what's going on today. We'll take a look at the ES first. We're here at baseline support. That number's really around 4870 to 4872. As long as we hold that, buyers are going to try and push it up. My thought is we are coming into a retrace of over exuberance, but we'll see. Here's the thing. If we breach 4897, Buyers are going to really try to push things up, and that's going to be the shorts that are saying, hey, I better get out of here if they're thinking about, you know, deeper levels into 4837, which is where I would not be surprised for us to move in near term. OK, it is still bullish. Notice formations are bullish. Dips are going to get bought. What are those dips? They're at the breakaway formation. So they're going to be here at 4870 and they potentially could be here at 48.37 or where the very big dip of volume shows us right here around this zone at 48.11. We'll see, right? That's just how it works. Notice this very clean formation of coming to the base and then the top. That's a measured move by any stance, and uh, the market is giving back as I suspected. My thought is we're in cross currents. Bounces, going to be sell zones, but at the end of the month, people normally pick up to buy on the first of the month. So we'll see. If we lose this edge here at 48.81, we should go to 48.70 and then sort of dribble a little lower. Next line, 48.50. Let's go to the NQ. All right. Uh, big slurry of earnings today. A lot of people feel like um, we've got some good things ahead. I, I don't know, really. I have no idea. What do I see? I see negative pressure in a fade to support. Here is that trend line support. Here is the horizontal support, which really could be, you know, 17,113. 116, but what's the line in the sand? It's this one way up here at 462, 450, anywhere around there. If we cannot hold above, say, pre market highs, we've got ourselves another fade. Honestly, they're trying to buy the formations of, holy cow, sorry about that, folks. Um, you know, they're trying to buy the formations up. So as long as we hold the close of the prior day at two, 60 and some change, we are going to be trying to push further up here. The uh, uh, I think this feels a lot more bullish than the yes, and it might be because of all the hope coming into the earnings event that's going to be here after the close today. Let's go to SPY. SPY here um, in a bit of a doji. Right? Support lines held 482. Next support line to breach 485 to 486. Right? It's the pre market high. If we can't get up over the pre market high, folks, bounces or sell zones, we could have a day where we completely retrace into about maybe, maybe not completely retrace 488. Or we could have a day that is sideways that tries to congest and digest all of the movement here. My thought is the following. If we lose this low, which happens to be the opening tick in February, the 484 area, we're going to leak right back down into 483 to 483.30. Maybe even, yeah, I'll leave it there. Okay, taking a look at the cues, they do look a bit... Um, a bit more ready to rise, they've broken this key support zone. We have 420, but you know, I'm gonna pull this line down and say 422, which if you get my um 
if you get my setups there on the Benzinga Pro platform, you're going to see that 422 was really sort of the line in the sand that said, hey, we lose that level, we've got more downside action. Today, that number feels to me like it's the close of yesterday. So it's somewhere around 418.50. If we lose that zone, we've got downside pressure. But notice, we have not broken the low of yesterday. We are above the low, and that tells me that buyers are trying to push in. What is my thought? That they have trouble at the 422 zone. If they breach 422, it is going to be another buying event that tries to push us up into 423, 424, and, you know, potentially this 425. I have no idea what today is going to do, but I do know what lines I need to see crossed to change my mind from bearish to bullish. All right. Overall, momentum says that we should run aground and not be able to breach some of these higher zones. The bounce area here is going to be where we want to potentially close our butterflies. All right. Uh, last thing, oil. Do you want to look at oil? Uh, my thought is that oh, I did take a short here at uh, 76.68. Um, my suspicion is that we come into 76.22 and then potentially 75.88, but I do expect us to congest here, so I'm going level to level. 77 will be my stop, and I will add to the position short if it loses uh, 76.44 and I get to continue down. All right, that's it for me, folks. Take care, and I'll see you on the platforms.